Hello, this is Eric with Pyroboom, and we want to talk about the P1200 and the P4 receivers or modules. And this is a return from a customer, and he stated that his Q0 uh, on District or Bank 01, 1 through 4, he could get to program. But, and those do work. And then he said he had trouble with these guys here with 9, uh, we'll switch these around, with 5 through 12. He just couldn't get them to work on 01. Uh, so I said, well, I said if it's powering up, it's unlikely that it's not broken. Um, and so we went back and forth on a few emails and, and trying to assess the situation. And he returned them, and, and I opened the box up, and I, and sure enough, they didn't work. And so I just went into program mode, and... And I had these programmed in like five minutes. I just, it was instantaneous. It worked. So, come to realize, and uh, with this, there's, I, we don't want to call it a hack, but it might be a little trick that you can do uh, to get these to work in a couple of observations. Uh, so, the first thing is on your P4s that you receive, is you notice, and I just have a tiny screwdriver, and I know I say Q tip, which is fine as well you have the main programming hole and I think this is how most people program them. You, we do have the buttons on the back as well but I don't think most people use those uh, so it wouldn't apply anyway. Uh, because this hole up here there's a little button in there and you take the screwdriver or the q-tip in there and you come down and you push into it and it clicks and, there's, and it holds it down and this will flash. Well what I've noticed is sometimes the button and we have a, a a nature to go straight in which is fine probably for most of them but one thing you can do is you can come in from an angle so you just come in so the best way to say it is you come in from the right because the button in the inside might be a little bit offset to the left here so we come into the right and that might help you as well now another thing and I think this is mainly what occurred with this particular unit is I'm gonna go and turn this on and it might be hard to see in the video but I'm going to come in from an angle and I'm going to press this down and I'm going to hold this. Now, while I'm doing this, I want that to, like a, a flashing red light is what you think of. And you want that to be consistent about every, what well, I guess, that's about every half second or so. It's flashing. Well, sometimes you notice when you, when you press in on this guy and you're holding it, you might see a double flash. When you, if you see a quick double flash, you didn't do it in this video, but if you do see one, I think what's happening is, is you're either not holding it down correctly or you're wiggled a little bit. It's a little bit sensitive in there. So again, coming in on an angle and you hold it down and you want to let that flash a solid three times. And again, if it double flashes that light, and you'll know it'll be really fast, just pull out and redo it. And I'm going to, and another thing is too, is you want to hold this down, continue to hold it down. So I'm going to pull that out right now. I'm going to turn this on. So I want to program five through eight on this guy. So let's see, I'm gonna come in at an angle. I'm gonna see if I can use my left hand so you can see it flashing. Hold it down, and now it's flashing. And I'm gonna wait, and it might have double flashed, I didn't quite see it. Let me just reset to make sure. I'm gonna hold this down. I'm gonna let that go a few times. And now I'm, I'm still holding it down. I'm gonna press five. I'm gonna release, and then I'm gonna release uh, the P1200. And it worked because it's flashed really quickly here. So watch, if I go five, six, seven, and eight. And this is exactly what I did when I pulled this out. So let's set this aside, and then we're gonna do this guy here, nine through 12. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna come in a little bit from the right, and uh, it's gonna, so hopefully you can see that okay. It's gonna flash, let that flash, oh, let me come in, hold it in there. All right, that's flashing. I'm gonna wait, just to make sure I'll go a little longer. And then I'm going to, so I'm still holding it down, I'm going to press 9 on the P1200, and I'm going to hold that down, and continue to hold the P1200 button down on the number 9. Holding it down, release the P12, P4, excuse me, and then I can release the 9. It looks like it went off as well, so that, and it flashed really quickly, so now I can go 9 through 12. So pretty straightforward with that, so you come in at an angle, make sure this does a, a like a street light flashing for at least 3 times, and it's very consistent. If you have a double flash, you want to pull it out and just reset it. So you want to be real steady to hold that in. And again, continue to hold that down. And then you press your fire button on the P1200. You release the P1200 fire button. 
and then you release here and it'll be programmed. So hopefully that helps if you have any troubleshooting with your P1200 and programming on your on your P12, P4s, excuse me. All right, thanks for watching. Light up the sky.